Zimbabwe's economy is in crisis. Local grocery shops are running out of stock and restrictions on bank withdrawals is making citizens angry, raising the scrutiny against the country's president, Robert Mugabe. Here's more on that. Zimbabweans are once again spending countless hours queuing at shops, garages and banks, hoping to collect just enough to get by. In recent weeks, there have been fewer grocery items and fuel in stock, on top of existing limitations on how much money a person can withdraw weekly. These restrictions have resulted in businesses feeling the pinch. Business is not that good. It's getting worse because people are getting $50 per week, and most of this money is then used to pay their rent, and they will be left with no money to come and buy goods from here. Panic buying and stockpiling have been triggered by a lack of confidence in bond notes, a parallel currency launched by the government nearly a year ago. In theory, it is worth the same as the US dollar, but Zimbabweans fear it could become worthless. It's largely a problem of confidence within the market. And probably, as, even as we approach elections, I think they're going, the uncertainties will remain. Uh, they may even increase political uncertainties of what may happen, even economic uncertainties uh, in terms of the direction of economic policies. Is government going to print more bond notes? So all that will further erode confidence in the system, which could exacerbate uh, the situation. Mugabe, whose land policies are widely blamed for Zimbabwe's economic collapse since 2000, riled against what he called currency saboteurs and vowed the price hikes would be dealt with. There are those who are eager to manipulate the currency so that they can trigger inflation, cause panic, buying. Fears are mounting that the situation could deteriorate back to the levels of 2008-2009 when inflation peaked at 5 billion percent before the national currency was abandoned and the economy never recovered.